Truodon is a small dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period and one of the most fascinating creatures in Jurassic Park. This carnivorous theropod is six feet in length with dozens of sharp serrated teeth. It has large forward-facing eyes that give it exceptional binocular vision, which allows it to see clearly in the dark, making it a formidable predator. What sets Truodon apart from other small theropods is its exceptional intelligence. With a brain-to-body ratio similar to that of modern birds, it is believed to have been one of the most intelligent dinosaurs. Despite its high intelligence, the Truodon's most dangerous feature is its venomous bite, which can cause a variety of haunting symptoms including seizures, coma, and brain death. Triceratops is a large, horned and frilled herbivore that lived in the late Cretaceous period in North America. It filled a similar ecological niche to today's buffalo, roaming the grasslands in massive herds. Although an herbivore, it is one of the park's most dangerous animals, reaching nearly 30 feet in length and weighing up to 12 tons. Its size alone makes for a formidable creature, sporting a fiery temper and horns of over 3 feet in length. This is an animal deserving serious respect. Brachiosaurus was a gigantic long-necked dinosaur that roamed the earth during the late Jurassic period. It is one of the largest animals ever to walk on land, reaching heights of up to 40 feet and lengths of up to 85 feet. One of the most striking features of the Brachiosaurus is its long neck, which made up more than half of its total length. It had 13 vertebrae in its neck alone, and its impressive length allowed it to reach the tops of trees that other herbivores couldn't. Despite its size, Brachiosaurus was surprisingly agile, able to move quickly on its four massive legs. It had a powerful stride that allowed it to cover great distances with ease. Tyrannosaurus rex is perhaps the best-known dinosaur in the world, and for good reason. Standing over 13 feet tall at the hips, measuring over 40 feet from its snout to the tip of its tail, and weighing around 7 tons. T-Rex was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. Its original home was North America during the late Cretaceous period, where it would stalk Triceratops, among other prey. Tyrannosaurus has excellent binocular vision and hence good depth perception, an adaptation essential to a predator. Despite this, observations have shown that T. rex's vision is primarily attuned to motion, supplemented by a remarkable sense of smell. Our living specimens have proven once and for all that T. rex was no slouch, reaching speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour. Metriacanthosaurus is a theropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic period. It was first discovered in England, and although its fossils are rare, it is believed to have been a top predator of its time. Metriacanthosaurus was smaller than some of the more well-known carnivorous dinosaurs, measuring around 20 feet in length and weighing up to one ton. What Metriacanthosaurus lacks in size, it makes up for in agility and cunning. Its name means moderately spined lizard, referring to the elongated neural spines on its vertebrae which may have supported a sail-like structure on its back. Proceratosaurus was a small carnivorous theropod dinosaur that lived during the Middle Jurassic period. It was originally believed to be a relative of Ceratosaurus, 
but is now believed to have been a distant ancestor of the more famous Tyrannosaurus rex. Proceratosaurus was relatively small, measuring about 10 feet in length and weighing around 100 pounds. Its most distinctive feature was a prominent horn on its snout, which gave this dinosaur its name before Ceratosaurus. Baryonyx is a dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period. It was discovered in England and is characterized by its elongated snout and crocodile-like appearance. At over 30 feet in length and weighing around 2 tons, Baryonyx was a large predator that hunted fish and other small prey around large bodies of water. One of the most striking features of Baryonyx is its large curved claws, which are reminiscent of those of a bear or big cat, and are a testament to the power and agility of this impressive dinosaur. Often referred to simply as Compi, Compsognathus is a chicken-sized dinosaur from the late Jurassic period. It was first discovered in Germany, before the only other specimen to be found was unearthed in France. Compis typically hunt small lizards and insects, but like other opportunistic theropods, will scavenge larger animal carcasses when available. Parasaurolophus is a hadrosaurid, sometimes called a duck-billed dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period. It is a herd animal that feeds on the park's rich vegetation. The most stunning feature of the Parasaurolophus is the crest on its head. Scientists were unsure of its function until today. Some believed it was a snorkel for when the animal was in the water. Others felt that it was used in combat. We know now that it serves for display and for communication allowing the animals to remain in contact over distance by amplifying their haunting, beautiful cries. Dilophosaurus is a dinosaur from the early Jurassic period. It is a recent addition to the park and is our most surprising specimen to date. Still juvenile, our dilos measure in at 6 feet in length, with an adult expectancy of nearly 20 feet. Though they hunt in packs, they rely on a pack leader to incapacitate prey by expelling venom from glands in its mouth. Dilophosaurs can spit their venom up to 20 feet, with deadly accuracy, aiming for their prey's eyes, causing blindness and disorientation. Velociraptor lived during the early Cretaceous period. At an average of 11 feet in length, this incredibly intelligent and fleet of footpack hunter is credited with initiating the dinosaur renaissance of the 1960s, where the image of dinosaurs as slow, clumsy reptilian giants was superseded by an image of warm-blooded, fast-moving animals. In addition to problem-solving intelligence, one of Velociraptor's defining features is an oversized sickle-shaped talon on each foot. These talons are used during hunting and combat to inflict deep and fatal wounds. Segesaurus is a small bipedal dinosaur from the early Jurassic period, measuring around one meter in length and weighing up to 10 kilograms. As a small, carnivorous dinosaur, Cegosaurus would have been an agile and fast hunter. Its small size may have allowed it to sneak up on prey or hunt in areas where larger predators couldn't fit. Its head was small and narrow with large eyes and a pointed snout filled with sharp teeth. The teeth were designed for cutting and tearing meat, suggesting that Cegosaurus was a carnivore.
Gallimimus, meaning chicken mimic, is a fascinating dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period. Resembling an ostrich or a modern-day emu, it was a bipedal animal, able to reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest dinosaurs to ever walk the earth. With a length of up to 20 feet and weighing over 440 pounds, Gallimimus was an agile and lightweight herbivore that roamed the open plains in large herds of Isla Nublar. One of the most striking features of Gallimimus is that it was one of the few dinosaurs that had hollow bones, making it lighter and allowing for greater speed and agility. It also had a unique respiratory system with air sacs connected to its lungs, giving it greater efficiency in oxygen uptake and endurance during running. Our Tylosaur is a large aquatic reptile that lived during the late Cretaceous period and was the apex predator of the oceans. At up to 60 feet in length, this massive creature was one of the largest reptiles ever to have existed. Another impressive aspect of the Tylosaur was its large lungs and respiratory system. This adaptation allowed it to remain underwater for long periods of time, while also enabling it to hunt near the surface where it could easily ambush unsuspecting prey. The Tylosaur was a truly formidable predator, well adapted to life in the ocean and capable of taking down even the largest and most dangerous prey. Its size, strength and agility made it one of the most fearsome creatures of the late Cretaceous period and a truly impressive addition to the park's collection of prehistoric animals. Geosternbergia is a flying reptile, or pterosaur, that lived during the late Cretaceous period. These fascinating creatures are some of the largest flying animals ever discovered. When walking on their feet, they would be only about 8 feet tall. However, when in flight, they have a wingspan reaching up to 33 feet. Despite their large size, Geosternbergias are surprisingly lightweight due to their hollow bones. This makes them perfectly adapted for flight allowing them to soar effortlessly through the skies with great speed and agility. In fact, they are one of the fastest pterosaurs, able to reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Their most distinctive feature is their unique head crest, which is formed by an elongation of their skull bones. This crest comes in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging from small and simple to large and elaborate. Some scientists believe that these crests were used for display, perhaps as a way to attract mates or intimidate rivals. However, because all of the specimens in Jurassic Park are female, you won't get to witness this behavior today. Herrerasaurus was one of the first theropods and lived during the mid-Triassic period a time when dinosaurs were not yet the dominant land animals on Earth. Sharing many of the same physical features of later theropods such as Allosaurus. This hunter, which can reach up to 20 feet in length, will swallow down huge chunks of prey whole. In fact, it can digest bone, something other carnivores usually leave behind. A fast mover with beautiful markings. Herrerasaurus is a wonderful addition to the creatures of Jurassic Park. Stegosaurus was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, roughly 150 million years ago. It was first discovered in North America and has since been found in other parts of the world. At over 20 feet in length and weighing up to 5 tons, the Stegosaurus was a massive creature, but it had a small brain relative to its body size. Despite this, the Stegosaurus had a surprisingly agile and nimble movement likely due to its four sturdy legs and compact body structure. 
Although not as flashy or aggressive as some of the other dinosaurs in the park, the Stegosaurus is a fascinating and important species that offers valuable insights into the evolution and diversity of life on Earth. So take a moment to appreciate this magnificent creature and its place in history. Apatosaurus, also known as Brontosaurus, is a massive herbivorous dinosaur from the late Jurassic period. It roamed the North American continent in herds, feeding on the abundant plant life. Apatosaurus was one of the largest creatures ever to walk the earth, reaching lengths of up to 75 feet and standing over 20 feet tall at the shoulder. Apatosaurus had a long, whip-like tail that it could use for defense against predators. Although Apatosaurus was a gentle giant, it was not without its dangers. Its massive size and powerful tail could easily crush a predator, and its herding behavior meant that an attack on one member of the group would likely result in a coordinated defense by the others. A true symbol of the prehistoric world, this magnificent creature is a testament to the grandeur of the ancient Earth and a source of awe for visitors from all walks of life. Ember Miners, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them. Consider leaving a like on this video so we know that you enjoyed it. Leave a comment about content that you would like to see come to this channel, and be sure to check the description for links to our Discord if you would like to talk to the team more directly. Check out our Patreon if you would like to help fund the team and its upcoming projects. Remember, this is a fan group reviewing the depths of our favorite franchise, and that we are in no way affiliated with the groups and companies that own them. Be sure to support Universal Studios and Amblin Entertainment. This has been an Ambermine production. Thank you for mining with us.